How's it going everybody? Thanks for taking a couple minutes to check out my channel. If you enjoy this video or if you get any useful information out of it, I'd really appreciate it if you could give me a quick thumbs up, comment, like it, share it, subscribe it, whatever it. I really appreciate it. It helps out my channel. Uh, my wife and I, we have been trying to or planning to build a house for a couple years now, but certain things happen and just, you know, man plans and God smiles. We the price of lumber went from high to higher to ridiculous for a while and now the price of lumber have come back down i was going to build this year but i've had shoulder surgery so a lot of the stuff i'm doing now i still got to take be a little bit careful with but i we are still planning on building a house next year so i am getting ready as much as possible and i've been working on headers i'm going to try to show like how i'm building my headers uh, what the purpose of a header is for and maybe even show a few tips and tricks uh, when you're building these things but uh, before I get into this I know and I understand that they make engineered header material out of uh, I don't know if it's LBL or LSL whatever and it, they're, they're great they're awesome I mean they're like three and a half inches thick and nine and a quarter inches wide and whatever and you just cut them off the length and you're good to go but I can't look a gift horse in the mouth a buddy of mine gave me a stack I think like 10 16 foot 2 by 8 so I am making my most of my headers out of 2 by 8 tripled up 2 by 8 and I believe a, a triple 2 by 8 it'll span almost 7 feet I believe on a single story house which is what we're building and I think if you go to a two story house it might cut that down to like 5 maybe like 5 or 6 feet I'm not sure you have to look up the specs on that but I know it, it, it'll span anything I need it to right now if I need something that's maybe like uh, seven feet or longer I'd probably switch to two by tens but I got triple two by eights going here if you notice I got a, I got one put together here and I have some more material cut and ready to go if you notice I got arrows here anytime you're working with dimensional lumber and you're standing something on end this is laying flat now but eventually this will be standing up on end like this you always want to do what's called crown up and basically you sight down down this edge of the board down the board this direction right here hopefully the camera's picking up my finger but sometimes on on shorter pieces of lumber it can be harder to pick up the crown but if you're starting like i was with uh long boards 16 foot long boards most of the time a board will just have a consistent crown going one way or the other and i'm talking about bowing in this direction this way not up and down here like this one bows down a little bit like this that can be nailed out I'm talking this way <clears throat> on the width ways of the board so this board right here it crowned in this direction the whole way down along the board so I just went down along the board and I marked every couple feet with a black uh, sharpie in the direction that the crown was so when I cut it up into short sections I didn't have to try to recrown every piece of the wood and it's a lot easier to do it that way so how am I constructing my headers i mean there's always more than one way to skin a cat there's no best way right way wrong well there there are wrong ways <laughs> that's for sure sometimes i mean there, there's two ways it can be just as effective i am adding so i got three layers of two by here which when you layer up three layers of uh dimensional lumber two bys you end up with four and a half inches so i'm adding between each layer a layer of half inch that rigid foam stuff it's like dial blue board I think it's a load brand of it but basically it's sort of like dial blue board putting a half inch between each of those that'll serve two purposes it'll give a little bit of r value to this header a little bit of insulation value and it's going to spread this header out to five and a half inches which will match up with two by six framing on the outside walls and when you get to nailing everything together everything should line up nice and neatly so like this would be a top plate of the wall right here and this would be like a side stud coming down here and this would be the jack a very important part of it and i got my arrow pointing up this way this would be like the up portion anytime you have something coming perpendicular over top of a wall it's going to be load bearing down onto here and you need some type of a header in here so this is what our header is going to do it's going to bear the weight of any joists or trusses on top of here these will be on two foot center so you might have one or two you might have one dead center or a couple offset here bearing weight so this will take the weight of that so it's gonna the weight of those 
joist or truss would push down on that header and it would transfer the weight to this jack. Now, I have seen, and if you've done enough remodeling and ripping stuff apart, I've seen people have headers and walls and have no jack. And it, it doesn't matter how big of a header you have, you can have a two by 12 header if you want here, tripled up. If you got no jack on it supporting the weight of this end, it's just gonna crush down eventually. So you need a jack under here, transferring the load down to your bottom plate. So that's what a header is for. And this is the way I'm building my headers. And when you build anything with framing, the more accurate, the more careful you are with framing, it makes everything that much more easy when you're doing it. It makes uh, putting the sheeting on the walls easier. It makes installation of windows and installation of doors and sheetrock, everything else falls into place a lot easier if you take a lot of time doing your framing nice and neat. So I'm going to clear this off. I got a nice solid flat surface here. I'm going to try to put one of these together and show you how I put it together. I got a little short one over here. I got a couple more here. I'm not going to do all of these for you, but I'm just going to put this little short one right here. I probably could have got gotten away with just uh, two two by eights and left it hollow, but I'm going to stay consistent with the rest of them and just keep doing that. It was only like a 30 inch piece of two by eight stuck in there. So I'm going to get this cleared off and get to work on putting one of these together. Okay, so I got all three pieces in my header. Crown's facing up this way. I'm going to first attach a piece of this rigid foam. And yes, you could stack all three 2x4s together and put a 1-inch piece on top or put two of these on top. Like I said, more one way to skin a cat. I'm just going to use a siding nail to hold this foam in place. A couple siding nails. If you do something like this make sure that's a little bit below the surface you would never want it above or it could hold the two pieces apart couldn't find any roofing nails siding or yeah roofing nails would be a little more economical but i'm just using a couple got that in place Set my next piece on top. Now this is where, just for exaggeration, you don't want your boards going together like this. You want them to be nice and square, nice and flush on here, and nice and flush and square on this way. So at least get yourself a speed square and put it down, butt it up against there, do all three directions. Now sometimes with dimensional lumber, everything isn't perfect. I'm going to check the other end here. Pretty darn close. I got three and a quarter inch nails here. I got it really close, so I'm going to pin one corner. I still got to be cautious what I'm doing with my right arm. though. I, I can't go too crazy with an air nailer yet. Checking the other side a little bit. Pin another corner. Now I'm going to actually turn this up on end so I can get a framing square on here just to get a real good accurate. Hopefully that's showing up here. It's nice and square that direction. I can even put it on this direction and check again. It's a little bit off that way, but I'm going to check this way as well. Now this way is showing almost on. Tap that board down a little bit. You can always adjust when you only have like one or two nails and something. Okay, this board must be a little bit wider. Go with a happy medium here. Pretty good, pretty good. Now we're gonna nail this one up. This foam insulation, I actually just ripped this on a table saw, seven and a quarter inches wide for the two by eight. Okay, keep my arrows going this way. There we 
we go. One header, ready to go. A little short sucker. Like I said, I could have gotten away with just uh, having probably just two pieces of two by eight, but I'm just gonna make them all the same. So, hope you enjoyed this video. And if you got any useful information, or if you just enjoyed it, if you can give me a quick thumbs up, I truly appreciate it. Hope you all have a blessed day, everybody. Thanks for watching.